Six Most Uncomfortable and Controversial Finds in American History America, land of the free, home of the brave, and some seriously uncomfortable history. From ancient burial grounds to hidden treasures, this country is full of controversial finds that have left experts baffled. It's no secret that history is full of dark chapters, but sometimes those chapters are hidden away in dusty old attic boxes, waiting to be discovered. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we take a look at six of the most uncomfortable and controversial finds in American history. So if you're ready to face the dark side of American history, sit back and hit play. Just don't say we didn't warn you. At number one, we have America's Stonehenge. America's Stonehenge, which can be seen in the charming northeast town of Salem, New Hampshire, is a group of boulders and stone ruins that, it should be mentioned, bears no resemblance to the real Stonehenge. In 1937, the location was given the name Mystery Hill by its owner, an insurance executive, William Goodwin. In 1982, the name was changed to capitalize on a growing origin myth, one supported by amateur archaeologists, that Stone Age Europeans built the site 4,000 years ago. Then come the Michigan relics, in October 1890, James O. Scottford of Edmore, Michigan, claimed to have uncovered cups, figures, and intricately written tablets that resembled Near Eastern finds. Scottford, a well-known digger in central Michigan, and others uncovered similar relics during the next two decades. Michigan's ancient sophisticated culture? Scottford sold several of his artifacts, so the idea was profitable. Historians and archaeologists were unconvinced. They found intricate forgeries, possibly made and buried by Scottford. The hieroglyphs and letters were nonsense. The clay things seemed to have been dried on a machine-sawed board, and many of them dissolved in water. How could they have survived being buried for thousands of years? Moving forward, we have the Star Child Skull. The skull, acquired from an El Paso, Texas couple, has a bulbous cranium, short orbits, and no frontal sinuses. 20 years ago, paranormalist Lloyd Pye said it was the skull of a human-alien hybrid kid. Sadly, genetic research found that the human skull was almost definitely the consequence of congenital hydrocephalus, a disorder in which cerebrospinal fluid collects in the brain, swelling the cranium and deforming the skull. The skull's owner presumably perished about five. Then comes the Kensington Runestone. The Kensington Runestone, found in central Minnesota in 1898, is a beautiful stone with numerous ancient Scandinavian characters. The runestone's alleged 1362 Scandinavian records is the most contentious. Did 14th century Vikings reach Minnesota? The people, especially Minnesota Swedes, loved the discovery, but linguists and other professionals were less impressed. A century ago, they almost all agreed it was 19th century. That consensus persists despite disagreement. The runestone is magnificent, but not 14th century. The second last discovery is hidden treasures. Like his father, before him, Utah Rancher, Waldo Wilcox and his family remained quiet about the old pit homes, prehistoric rock lines, murals, and stone tools on their 4,000-acre Range Creek property. The Wilcox gates and road-blocked signs kept hunters away from the Fremont Indian treasures left 1,000 years ago by an unknown culture. The Utah Museum of Natural History manages the ranch after Waldo sold it to the Bureau of Land Management, when he became too elderly to operate it. These are off-limits locations. Last but not least, we have the Lake Winnipesaukee Stone Egg. In 1872, New England construction workers, excavating a fence post hole near Lake Winnipesaukee, unearthed a lump of clay containing an egg-shaped artifact six feet underneath. The mysterious mystery stone is one of New Hampshire's lesser-known artifacts. Over 100 years, amateur and professional archaeologists have debated the origin of this odd relic. New Hampshire is unfamiliar with the rock kind, and no other US items have comparable marks or patterns. Nothing of its superb craftsmanship has been created by the nearby Native American tribes. Thus, it may have been made by someone from a distant location and time. And that concludes our tour of the six most uncomfortable and controversial finds in American history. We hope you found it educational, if not a little unsettling. As always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out our other videos for more interesting history tours. Thanks for watching!